Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a review on my Gucci Marmont. Welcome back if you're already subscribed to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Carla and on this channel, I share videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you enjoy these kinds of things, then please subscribe down below. Okay, so first we're going to start with the word of the day. The word of the day for today is good. And the reason why I want to share this word is we just have to focus as people on how to be good. Be good to one another. Be kind to yourself and others as well. Being loving, being caring, reaching out to someone and seeing how they're doing, opening the door for someone, being patient with others. And when I say being good, I also mean being good to yourself. So everything that I just mentioned, it's also doing the same exact thing to yourself. So loving yourself, being kind to yourself, being patient with yourself, being an overall good person. So let's jump right into this review. So I'm going to be reviewing my Gucci Marmont velvet handbag. So I've had this bag for three years. So it's pretty much a review and just showing you the wear and tear on this bag. So I've had this bag for three years now. Um, at the time when I purchased it, it was $1,490. With tax, it was over $1,500, but it was $1,490. And I picked this bag up because I love the color and I actually still love it. I love this bag overall right now anyways, but look at the color. It's like I said, velvet. It's that beautiful red velvet with the gold, which is perfect. I love how the chain right here, like the strap of the bag is a thicker kind of gold chain. As you can see right here, I'm just gonna pull this out. So as you can see right here, I love that it's a thicker chain. As you can see that I have on, um, I love thicker necklaces or thicker chains in general. So this is the velvet. Um, this is what the back looks like. And then the interior of the bag is leather right here. And another reason why I wanted to make this video was because I've noticed that Gucci continues to put out more and more colors of the bag. I've seen a few velvet ones, but I've definitely seen like pastel colors for the spring summer of this year 2020 um and they are stunning so i wanted to make this video for those people who are looking for marmot bags if you're looking for velvet i wanted to show you in particular my only thing the only thing that i do not like about the velvet um but as a marmot bag as a whole i wanted to show you what that entails so like i said this is the size of the bag this is how it looks it has the gg right here and if you want to see what fits in this bag i'll probably do a what's in my gucci marmont bag just so you can pretty much see what fits in the bag and in that video i'll probably share with you guys the dimensions of the bag if you're interested in that kind of stuff it, i'll probably just mention it there um i don't really want to mention it here because i just want to share like a wear and tear kind of thing about the bag um so yes the interior is with leather it has red leather right here these other straps again um this is the lock of the bag i love this detail not sure if you can see but I love how it has the stitching coming across here. And then this is the interior of this bag. As you can see, it's like this teal, turquoise, not really turquoise, but this tealish kind of blue, um, a blue satin lining, which I think was amazing. I think it's great that they did that. It's beautiful it really stands out to me as the person who's using the bag and if you open it look how beautiful it looks like if you open it slightly you see the red and the blue which is stunning for me i love love that they did the satin 
Um, I love that the bag is the perfect size. It's not something that's too big and it's definitely not too small. It definitely will fit your necessities. So something that I wanted to share about the wear and tear overall, overall the bag has been amazing. Like I said, I've had it for three years and you know, I made a video on the Chanel Jumbo and how I care for that bag, how I store it. This bag, I store it completely different. Like I do not put it in the dust bag. I just leave it on my shelf where it does collect dust. And pretty much if you take a look at it, it as far as the dust goes, as the link goes, it hasn't been bad. However, and I'm pretty sure this has nothing to do with the way that I'm storing the bag. I think it just has to do with the fact that it's velvet. So if you're looking at the velvet bag, then I will definitely tell you to pay mind to this, pay close attention to this, um, so that this way you can probably take care of your bag differently. I can't, I can do this now just to prevent further damage to the bag, but if you don't have the bag yet, then you may want to implement something to prevent this with your current bag. So something that has damaged the bag, and I think it has to do with the strap or like the hardware in itself is, see that right here? No matter what I do, no matter what kind of cleaning, scratching, that does not come off. So that is on the exterior of the bag. That is on the velvet of the bag itself. And I think it has to do with the fact that when I wear the bag as like a shoulder or crossbody, see how that sits right there? Because that sits right there and the pressure it's put on right there, it leaves these this indentation, these marks that do not come off. So I've noticed it also by the hardware right here. And I think once again, it has to do with the chain because when it hangs, see how it hangs just like that. Anything or anywhere where the chain is, try to protect it. So obviously when you're wearing it, you won't be able to do this, but maybe when you're storing it, maybe find a way to like leave maybe even the dust bag if you put the dust bag on the outside like this and have the chain hang on that maybe it'll protect it a little bit more um and about the back maybe just having it you know tucking it in in the inside the strap in itself like that and then taking the dust bag and just leaning it there so that anywhere where the straps will just rest you can have it protected another part that's being you know messed up a little bit is right here also the hardware i think the hardware and the pushing of this because that's how you open the bag i think it's starting to affect the velvet as well like I said, I've had this bag for three years, so it has been some time for this to kind of start occurring. But if you can prevent this, then I would definitely recommend that you try to find a way to prevent it because overall, how stunning is this piece? And I would still wear it. It's something that you can still wear. And this is why I think Gucci continues to create more colors. It's because overall, the Marmont bag is a stunning bag, no matter what size. Like I said, this is a smaller size. The bigger size, same exact thing. You can wear these bags for a long period of time. I'm not really sure if the same thing happens with the leather kind of handbags, but um, I, like I said, I can only speak on the velvet because that is what I have. I am looking into purchasing a leather Marmont bag. So I kind of just, you know, I was into the Marmont kind of thing. So I wanted to create this video whilst also knowing that I am in the market for a new Marmont bag. And I think I'm going to pick that one up in leather. I'm just not sure as to what color yet. Um, I'm thinking maybe white because I don't have that many white bags um but i i'm not really sure yet if they come out with a beautiful like pastel -y, neutral color that i could use over time throughout the year then i may consider that i just haven't 
selected a certain bag yet. I hope you found this video helpful. Hope you, you know, find a way to prevent that from happening if you haven't picked up the bag yet or just prevent further damage like I'm working on right now because I don't want this to get worse. So yes, please remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and just overall be a good person. Also remember to subscribe down below. See you in the next video.